What is up, you guys? This is That Bloody One from Skylanders. And today we are talking about one of the things that is extremely coveted in this game. And that is Beast Labyrinth. I have been able to get to B8 farmable. And I have to say that my strategy is based off of um, the strategy uh, that came from Tectone. However, I modified it a little bit to try to get a little bit more consistency. What I do is I put Wham Shell over here in the uh, right side, Boomer in the middle, and then Stealth Elf on the left. All skills one and two. And instead of uh, a lot of people are using Broccoli Guy or uh, will probably start using um, Chompy Mage but I found that for the DPS and mowing things down a little bit quicker that it is best to use um, Gulper now I'm not going to say that my runs are any better than anybody else's because I still have a lot of work on my teams as well. But I find that this run is more consistent for my Skylanders. Uh, you may have different results. Um, I've pretty much got similar runes as what Tectone suggested. I'll go over that after this one round here. But what's nice and why I put in Gulper is he's got an AoE attack plus uh, he has the focus aggro for uh, three turns. That is extremely useful when you're trying to keep your heroes alive uh, for this round, uh, for B8. I'm also going to be trying to formulate a B9 team. Um, that will come in a later video though. I'm currently working on getting some Skylanders up for that. Forgot to switch this to boss only. So hopefully that doesn't cost us the win, but with this team it's extremely strong team so you're not gonna have to worry too much about it as you see the boss is already over halfway done and the only one that is low on health is my stealth elf there goes my stealth elf um, but he's only got less than a bar left about half a bar of health left so and there we have it there is the win let's hope we get a six star rune here oh far star we'll just go ahead and sell that we don't need those Alright, now I'll go ahead and get into how I have my Skylanders ruined here. I got part of this strategy from Tectone and another part from Malice. I'll put their links in the description below. Um, they are both Twitch streamers as well as YouTubers. I've got an energy and a focus set on uh, Boomer to give him 10% extra effect accuracy plus 20% additional HP to help him survive a little bit longer. On my Wham Shell I've got energy set and a ward set um, just to boost his uh, defense and his hit points up because he is the tank in this situation. And then for Stealth Elf, I went with all energy runes 
for the extra HP. <clears throat> for stats, I have crit rate in slot 2, HP in slot 4, and attack in slot 6 for my stealth elf. My wham shell has defense, defense, and hit points, which I built him this way because his set bonuses gives him one defense and two HP buffs. So I decided to do the inverse of that and have two defense and one HP instead. For my boomer, I have attack, effect, accuracy, and attack. Alright, um, that is it for now. Thank you for watching, and uh, come back to my channel for more content. Make sure to check out the links below uh, for my Discord server, all the resources that you will need for the game, and any other information. And as always, enjoy! Remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell.